All right, here we are with Lillian Avalos. Semi-finals, 8-1 win. So hey, I just walked over. I didn't get to see the match, but I like to, I like talking to the finalists. So take me through the match. Okay, so uh, I kind of was anticipating some neutral work. Uh -huh. So I was just gonna focus on playing smart, my neutral game, working towards that setup, little by little. And as I got an opening, I fired a single, uh -huh. took down, and then worked from there. And then I had a few, few little turns and like kind of like a nice. like a little rumble okay and then second round third round it was just top bottom work trying to get up shots to repeat of that nice nice how have you wrestled in many of these these events uh this is like my third fourth year of reno this tournament yeah i've been in a few big ones state uh one or two worlds have you made it have you been a finalist at reno yet i was a finalist my seventh grade year. Nice. Did you win? No, lost by two points. Dang, so what do you think it's gonna take to get over the hump and, and take home a title tomorrow? I feel like the practices I've been putting in and the, the extra work, doing everything I possibly can, I feel like that's gonna accumulate and amount to a, a victory, whether or not I win or lose, because I worked for this. I'm trying to get to the top. Nice, you feeling confident? I'm feeling pretty confident. I got my team and family behind me. Perfect. You gotta have some support. Oh yeah. All right. So, uh, have you wrestled a tournament before this? You know, since all the COVID stuff. No, I've been dying to get back into the sport. Wrestlers, you gotta keep going, keep going, keep going. I also feel lost without the sport. Dang. So, what did it feel like when you couldn't compete? You know, practices were at a standstill and all that. I felt just like lost because you wrestlers, they go at it, they go at it. You're always doing something, so you just feel bored just lost without the sport yeah tell me about your club uh, my club oh my gosh the best team best coaches they're always pushing us it's like they could be drill sergeants sometimes but uh -huh. that makes me better that pushes me got a whole team of boys that just so supportive just nice. always working with me to get better it's it's amazing nice why why do you choose wrestling i've always had that um that passion that drive for fighting i've always wanted to I've always wanted to be in that that sport, that kind of just fighting, that that determination and all that. So I, funny story, I actually convinced my parents after a year to let me do wrestling uh -huh. <laughs> and prove them that it wasn't just a girl sport. Awesome. A guy's sport. Well, I'm glad you did. What are your goals? My goal is to make it big, get a scholarship, get my education, and push more girls to wrestle because it's growing sport for girls. Nice. Well, I like where your head's at. Uh, get some rest tonight. Good luck in the finals. Anything else you want to share? Thank you. Um, thank you for everyone out there that supports me and that has pushed me through this. I'm here because of you guys. Thank you for my family and my team. I would not be here without you guys.